Hey guys, how's it going? Mystic Animation here with a tutorial on how to create a desktop background in Photoshop CS5. We will create the background in three different parts. In the first part, I'll show you how to create a simple background that can be used for any desktop. In the second part, I'll show you how to add a clock in the same background, which can be used for rain meter theme. And finally, in the third part, I'll show you how to add a little texture in your clock and how to edit the rain meter clock to fit your desktop background. So let's get started. We're gonna go to File, Create a New, and we're gonna name it Mystic Animations Wallpaper. We're gonna choose this settings for now, which is a HD setting for YouTube videos and also a HD setting for desktop backgrounds. We're going to unlock this padlock button in here, which will allow us to edit in the background. Uh, we're going to choose the paint bucket tool and choose the background color you want. I'm just going to choose a dark gray for now. Now we're going to add a new layer. Click in here. Uh, so you can also choose the layer from here. And we're going to add we're gonna go to elliptical marker tool and draw a bit a bit circle in here. And we're gonna <coughs> we don't want this this part though. We we want the invert side of it, so we're gonna go to select and choose inverse. So um this will allow us to select the inverse of it. Make sure you put the feather settings to two hundred or about about something around that that pixels that will allow us a good gradient uh, we're gonna go to edit and click fill and we're gonna use a black color for now as we want a black gradient you can change your color if you want if you want a different so We're going to add, in, add our logo. If you don't have a logo, then you can choose a picture or whatever you want. We're going to scale it and we're going to adjust it a bit uh, as we want. You can do it wherever you want. I'm just, I want it looks good in the middle, so we're going to make it in the middle. So, looks nice. So, place the file. So, that's about. We're going to choose the layer settings and we're going to choose drop shadow, which will draw a shadow in the back background. And you can adjust the distance and size spread in here, which will mix, mix it look nice. Um, we're gonna zoom in a bit to make sure. We're gonna go to the um, settings effects again and click on stroke. This will allow a good stroke. We're just going to play around a bit with it until it looks nice. Now it looks much better. Now we're also gonna add bevel and emboss which will make make it look like 3D as you can see it's, it's a bit shiny and looks a bit 3D you can adjust the range in here which uh, which will allow you to match your requirements you can also mess around with these things uh, it makes it a really good texture oh, I don't want the texture so we're just gonna go with this for now so to zoom out we're going to add a new text in here 
we're going to type um, choose the font you want I'm gonna go for a stencil for now and choose the color let's choose red and let's type in mystic animations I'm gonna increase the font a bit press uh, control T and this will open this option in here and then you will be able to edit a bit more nicely adjust your yeah, we're gonna adjust the text in here animations let's change the animation to a uh, white that one looks nice let's adjust the spacing between them that looks nice um, we'll try to make this animation a bit smaller yeah that's nice We're going to choose the blending options and change uh, drop shadow for our text. We're going to adjust it a bit till it looks nice. And we're also going to add uh, uh, bevel and emboss which will give us a good 3D type effect for our text as well and just like our logo so that's it so that's pretty much it and our wallpaper is ready um, this looks nice so yeah that's pretty much it and um, our basic wallpaper has been created which um, it will look nice on any background um, you can also change the background color if you want and choose the color you want like blue, green or red whatever you want you can save it as a JPEG we're gonna increase the file size which will keep the quality really good and that's it so the first part is complete and we have a good background